then we have to understand this harmony and live in this harmony at every level of our being. So we identified these four levels. <coughs> at the level of individual, the level of family, the level of society, the level of nature and existence. And we said that in order to ensure continuity of happiness, what I need to do is to understand this harmony at each of the levels and live in harmony. And therefore our task would be to try to understand harmony at each of these levels first and then see whether it is possible to live in harmony at each of these levels or not. So that was our task and we said that for the coming days we will investigate into each of this <coughs> harmony at each of these levels and that is what we have done. Right? We have discussed about harmony in human being at the level of individual. At the so part of it, we have discussed about harmony in the cell, harmony in, in of the cell with the body. Then we have discussed about harmony in family, then harmony in society, then harmony in nature and finally harmony <coughs> in existence. <coughs> So now, when we are able to understand, you know, we see this harmony in existence, then you know, we have reached to that mountain. Okay. From there we can look back you know, and see all these things that we have been talking about in the six days. So that is what I have written down, you know, which I want to draw your attention towards that if you understand this harmony in existence, if you understand that the existence is in the form of coexistence, which is in the form of units submerged in space, then you can see that this is all that we need to understand. Right? Everything else that we have been talking about is just an expression of this at different levels. Right? They are just the expression of this coexistence at different levels. So if I understand the coexistence, then it is possible for me to understand all that we have been talking about <coughs> in the last six days. So I thought that now if you look at it from the top of the mountain, you can visualize everything very comfortably. <coughs> then it is not a much of a problem really to see that. When you are climbing up, it you know, appears very you know, difficult. But when you reach to the top and see you know, down, then everything can be seen right from there very conveniently, very you know, comfortably. So that is what I, we are trying to do now. We are saying that if we have understood that the existence is in the form of coexistence, it is in the form of units submerged in space, then all this will be unfolding of this coexistence at different levels. So, if you look at this, then you feel that it would have been better that we started from here. But if you start from there, okay, it becomes very difficult to understand. So we started from this level of individual, the human being, and then slowly, you know, unfolded it. In fact, I remember in one of the workshop, you know, we were having the, this administration, district administration people, you know, these collectors and deputy collectors and the teams and all that. So I was, you know, it was a one-day workshop, and we were just you know, slowly moving and trying to describe this. And one of them, after around an hour and a half, he said, look, we are very intelligent people. <coughs> and we can understand what you are saying. So you don't have to move so slowly. <laughs> <laughs> you can be very fast. <laughs> so I said, fine. <coughs> if you think so, okay. I have only one word to say. And this is coexistence. So I wrote down this word coexistence. I said, that's it. That is all I wanted to say. <laughs> 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 so, 
So they said, no, 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 you explain this. I said, and ultimately, I have to go at the same pace which I was going, right? <laughs> You have to spend this six days you know, to come to this coexistence, right? Come to understanding this coexistence. But once you have understood the coexistence, then it also you know, sounds very simple. Okay? Just the unfolding of this coexistence. So if, if you can see this, that the existence is in the form of coexistence. This is in the form of summarized in space. This is the description of this existence. Then you can see that this, you know, nature, at the level of nature, this relationship of mutual fulfillment, right, among the four orders of nature, is just the expression of this coexistence. So this coexistence we have studied, <coughs> the image is energized in space, it is self-organized in space, it is recognizing its relationship with other units and fulfilling it. Right? So if you look at this third one, <coughs> the meaning of mutual fulfillment. So out of this coexistence, this mutual fulfillment is already there. And this is already happening, right? This recognition of relationship with other units and fulfillment of this relationship okay, is already happening by way of coexistence. So, Earth is recognizing its relationship with the Sun and going round the Sun, right? So, this recognition and fulfillment is already taking place. So, if I understand this coexistence, I understand this mutual fulfillment. Okay. And that is what we have talked about when we are talking about harmony in nature. So it is one of the expression of coexistence at the level of relationship between units, between the four orders. Right. So this is unfolding in this form. Now, if you go to the level of society, okay, all these four goals that we have been talking about, right? Right understanding and right feeling in every individual. Right? Now, what would it mean? <coughs> right understanding would mean understanding of the coexistence. The right feeling would mean feeling of coexistence. So, if I am able to understand this coexistence, that is the right <coughs> understanding. Right? And if I have the feeling of coexistence, that is the right feeling. So, the first goal is ensuring the understanding of coexistence and feeling of coexistence. Right? So, that is what we have been talking about, you know all through this right understanding and right feeling. Now it can be very precisely placed. That right understanding means understanding of the coexistence. Right feeling means feeling of coexistence. Right? Coexistence which is already there. Right? The whole existence is in the form of coexistence. You do not have to construct anything, you don't have to create anything. Right? It is there. Right. You only have to understand it and live with that feeling of coexistence. Now, prosperity, if you look at prosperity, what does it mean? It means that I am able to understand my relationship with the rest of nature. Right? Ensure the fulfillment of my relationship, that is coexistence with the rest of nature. Ensure prosperity in human being and suraksha of rest of nature. So when we talked about raksha, we essentially said the coexistence between human being and rest of nature. I am able to understand this. 
I am able to fulfill this coexistence, this relationship, ensuring mutual prosperity, which is prosperity in human being and suraksha of the rest of nature, which is in terms of enrichment, protection and right utilization of the rest of nature. So, prosperity is the expression of coexistence between human being and the rest of nature. So, you don't have to torture, you know, exploit the nature. You don't have to destroy the rest of nature. If we identify our coexistence with the rest of nature and you know, fulfill that relationship, that coexistence, then it will result into the prosperity of human being and suraksha of the rest of nature. So, prosperity is an expression <coughs> of coexistence between human being and the rest of nature. What about fearlessness? The third human goal. <coughs> <coughs> it is coexistence between human being and human being. So understanding of this coexistence between human being and human being and living with that coexistence between human being and human being. That is the meaning of fearlessness. That is the meaning of trust. That is what we have described in all this. So understanding of human-human relationship, human, you know, the coexistence between human being and human being. Right. Its fulfillment leading to mutual happiness. That is fearlessness, that is trust. <coughs> and what is this coexistence in nature, in existence? It is anyway coexistence, right? That is what we are talking about. <coughs> so, all these four goals of human being has to essentially do with understanding of the coexistence and living in coexistence at different levels. So, this first goal is understanding of the coexistence, feeling of coexistence. This is understanding and living coexistence of human being with rest of nature. This is coexistence of human being with human being. This is the coexistence of human being with the whole nature, the existence. So, all of them will essentially, you know, expression of this coexistence in existence. So that is what we were talking about when we were talking about harmony in society. Similarly, when we talk about family, the trust means <coughs> acceptance of this coexistence. I want to make myself happy and make others happy right? by way of this coexistence, by virtue of this coexistence. <coughs> So, if I can understand that the whole existence is in the form of coexistence, in human-human relationship, right, I will have an acceptance for that coexistence and that is trust. Right. <coughs> that we all want to be related to each other. Right. We all want to be mutually fulfilling for each other. Right. That is trust. And if that acceptance of being related you know, to the other, being in coexistence with the other is there, that is what is called as affection. So, when it is there for one individual right, or many individuals, it is affection. When it is there for everyone, it is love. So, love means if I am able to see this coexistence, I can see that I am related to everyone. Right? Every unit is related to every other unit. Not only that I am related to everyone. So, I have to understand this relationship, this coexistence with every unit in nature. So, if I can see this, I can accept this, this is the feeling of love. So, love is okay, this acceptance of being related to everyone. <coughs> Therefore, the responsibility of being in relationship and being mutually fulfilling for everyone, okay, in this coexistence. 
So that is the meaning of love. This relationship is already there by way of coexistence. I accept this relationship. First I understand this relationship, this coexistence. <coughs> I accept this relationship and then I am willing to fulfill this relationship. That is the feeling of love. An expression of this feeling of love with human being and with rest of nature is what is called compassion. The compassion is the expression of this feeling of love with every unit in existence. Which is, this coexistence is already there. I have to understand this, accept this, right? Have this feeling in me and share this with others. So all this feeling that we have talked about, you know, these nine feelings is expression of this coexistence okay. in human-human relationship. And finally when you come to the harmony in human being, harmony in individual, right, we said first there has to be a harmony you know, between the self and the body, that coexistence between the self and the body. Then we said, if you look at the harmony in the self, this harmony in the self is ensured when my natural acceptance and my desire, thought and expectations, that is what I really want to be and what I am, are in harmony. So when you look at that, what it essentially means, that when I have the realization and understanding, and this is, you know, what is you know, giving the guidance to my desire, thought and expectation. Right. Then, there will be harmony in the self. And if you look at that, it means understanding of this coexistence, understanding of the harmony. And then, ensuring your desire, thought and expectation, you know, along the line of this realization and understanding. That is what we have concluded yesterday. <coughs> so you can see the realization of coexistence, understanding of the harmony. That is what you get out of your natural acceptance, right? This leading to your desire, thought and expectation. If this happens, there is harmony in the self. When I am in harmony within, I am in a state of happiness. So you can see this coexistence and realization of this coexistence. The <coughs> hands. The existence is already in the form of coexistence. Right? But I have to have the realization of this coexistence in existence. These are the two ends which have to meet. So this is already there. I have to see this. I have to understand it. I have to have the realization of this. Everything else is you know, falling in between. So that was the whole thing that we were discussing. So essentially, existence is equal to coexistence. Yes. So this is the core thing, this coexistence. This is all we have been discussing, right? So existence is already in the form of coexistence. What I need to do is to have the realization of this coexistence. If I have the realization of this coexistence, then I will have the feeling of this coexistence, right? If I have the feeling of coexistence, then all my desire, thought and expectation will fall in line with this. And therefore, my behavior, work and participation in larger order would be on the basis of this coexistence. And that is all that I need to do. That is all that every, you know, any and every human being needs to do. So that is all we have been talking about. So if you put up, you have to put the whole thing in one word, this is coexistence.
this one single reality we have been trying to explain right? all this is the coexistence. And all the details that we talked about is just the expression of this feeling of coexistence, you know, this coexistence and existence. Therefore, they said that if this is what it is, right? then this is the sum of number one, existence is equal to coexistence, right? which is ever present. All that human being has to do is to understand this coexistence and live in this coexistence. So, that is the essence of all that we have been discussing it last six days. So let's see whether this is clear to all of us or if there is any question about it. and living in coexistence is enough. The question is, uh, I'm looking at that, that circle. Human beings seem to be a kind of parasite in the three uh, 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 orders. The three orders can exist even without human beings' intervention. In fact, the human being seems to be the main uh, culprit that creates problems. <laughs> And now this parasite has to find, make a sense of itself. Is that all? We can very well understand that existing and coexisting is inevitable. Leading one, if there is one disorder, in one part there is, uh, that can be distorted. Uh, as I was reading in that book, uh, purpose of eye is to see, purpose of pen is to write. And we have uh, all through discussed about purpose, meaning being prosperity and happiness. And the happiness and prosperity can be seen. Or is this human being, so called human being, much more higher uh, through the education and sanskar? Can that human being evolve higher, go beyond this coexistence? That's what you see the highest level that you have to reach is to understand this coexistence and live in this coexistence. Where will you go higher than the existence? See, you are there by way of coexistence, by way of existence. So all your limits are defined by this coexistence. And what more is required? See, you have become a problem, the human being has become a problem, because of lack of understanding of this coexistence. So you think you can do anything. That is your trouble. <coughs> now when you understand the coexistence, it is not true that you can do anything. And when you look at it, you don't want to do anything, right? You want to do something very definite. Right? And what is that definite thing? To understand the coexistence. <coughs> 
and live in this coexistence. What less and what more? Intellectually, I can intellectualize it, I can rationalize it, mm. but the realization, uh, the actual feeling is not coming to me, but I feel intuitively, yeah, yeah. Mm. yes, solution should be the end product, what, what else, because even we, uh, we can imagine like, we are also as a unit, energized, unit existing in the space as a whole, and in a way we can see that there is only human, one universal so human mind that energized fully and existing. That much I can uh, intellectualize it, rationalize it, but that the actual fact that is uh, quite difficult to uh, the realization is quite difficult to Let's work from this difficulty. But the end result would be this, I am saying. You know, before this happens, you will not feel satisfied. Right? So nothing less will do. Right? After you have realized this, nothing more is required. So, to move from where we are to this, <coughs> may be a difficult task, may be uphill task, right? But then, this is definite, this is where we have to reach. Right? I mean, if I... Huh? I can describe this as something very difficult and very hard and you know, <coughs> then only a few people will walk on this road and out of those people who walk on this road, only few people will reach, right? All this Christian I can give, it's not a problem, right? To make it appear something very high. But the fact is that, yes, in a way it is very high, in the goal, and target. But in a way, it is there for you know, every human being. It is required for every human being. And if we start you know, working for it, it sounds feasible for every human being. Right. And this 10 to 15 <coughs> years of our time, which we are <coughs> investing in education and sanskar, right. if that is you know, invested for this purpose, then this 10 to 15 years is a sufficient time right, <coughs> to ensure this. We are anyway doing it, you know, we are, you know, kind of you know, providing all you know, provisions to our, you know, you know, children, okay, for 10 to 15 years. If that 10 to 15 years is invested in this, ensuring this, ensuring this, then it should be possible for every human being. Because it is required for every human being. And you can see, it is not all that difficult, right? You can always make the beginning. Last six days, like whatever proposal has been put forward, every one of us can, you know, verify it on our own by it. <coughs> That's what we have been doing. And you can see you don't need any qualification for that. Right? Every human being has this qualification to be able to look into himself and find out what is right for him, what is not right for him. So this is where we want to reach. Nothing less would do and nothing more is required. So it can be described as something very difficult, okay. that's not a problem. But it can also be described as something very essential for every human being and every you know, human being, every human child can start you know, moving towards it, working for it.
what what we have said you know <coughs> traditionally all these descriptions can be given